Welcome back, Pokemon fans. Angel of the Night here. We are getting into some more Let's Go Pikachu. Now, as you guys know, in the last episode, I was getting a little bit drowsy and uh, a little bit hypnotic into what we were doing. Um, I did say I was going to go get some coffee. And you know what? I'm going to show you something. It's a beautiful thing. This coffee mug is literally the size of my head. Like, no joke. <laughs> it's basically a giant pot of coffee. So this is what we're going to do is we're going to drink some coffee as we're playing here. And uh, hopefully my heart won't explode. So without further ado, let's jump into the Seafoam Islands. And I just love what they did with Seafoam Island, to be honest. Uh, we are going to put away Bolt. We're going to return him to the Pokeball. And we're going to take a look to see what is around here. Looks like there's a couple of train... Ooh, a Jinx! Right off the bat, guys. Let's get Jinx for the Pokedex. We have 115 Pokemon out of 141 so far. And uh, we can do a little bit of catching up here. So, got to get ourselves a good old Jinx. If we catch this Jinx, I'm going to drink some coffee. Come on, switch. There we go. One, two, three, four. Time to get into the ball now. Get in the ball. Yes. All right, we got ourselves a good old Jinx. I think my chant kind of helped. All right. 635 experience points. And let's see what it says here for Jinx. Jinx appears to move to a rhythm of its own, as if it were dancing. It wiggles its hips as it walks. Yeah, okay. Cool story, bro. Uh, okay. We got an ice heel. That might actually come in handy here at some point. I say we need to go up against this trainer. Even when pushing blocks with strong push, Pokemon get in the way. When that happens, I use a repel so I can get back to pushing with no problem. Yeah, no, I'm gonna make sure the Pokemon appear. That's kind of what we're here for. We want to capture some Pokemons. <laughs> Gotta capture the Pokemans. There we go. One is dropped. Ah, Jinx, get out of the way. Actually, we could probably get that and get some uh, special candies. I think special candies would definitely be helpful here, that's for sure. It's a beautiful thing. It's like the corn kid, but I'm with coffee. It's coffee. It's a beautiful thing. That's some damn good coffee. Okay. Here we go. Ooh. Are you surprised to find a coach trainer at a place like this? But what is more surprising is that I come here every single day. There is nothing else to do but battle here. Do you want to battle? <laughs> yeah. Of course you'll battle me. Okay, here I come. Yas, trainer, trainer Yas. Um, I'm gonna need this coffee to be there, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I'm just gonna friggin' flop right over. All right, we're gonna go out with the Zapdos here. We are up against a Jolteon. Of course, our electric moves are not going to be able to work due to the Volt Absorb ability. Oh, wait, he doesn't have Volt Absorb because this generation or this game doesn't have abilities. Interesting. Let's go for the Drill Peck. That did nothing at all. Let's call back Bolt. We're gonna go out to Ethan. Ethan should be able to resist the electric type moves, so that should be quite helpful. Uh, 
Coffee makes me happy. I'm gonna be honest. If coffee doesn't make you happy and you're my age, something's wrong. Okay, Thunder, gonna make contact here yet again. Not very effective. But he did get the paralysis, that's kind of a big deal. 46, eh? The levels are getting higher. I need to catch more Pokemon. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm drinking coffee, right? Now look how dark my car of coffee is. <laughs> do, you, do you get the joke? I like my coffee on the dark side. <laughs> uh, that's lame, Cory. Lame. That's a Pokemon. Get back to it. Gonna go for that flare blitz. That actually did quite a bit. Let's go for the fly. There we go. That's a real good hit. Now I bet you he already had Jolteon, he had Flareon. How much you want to bet he has Vaporeon? I was right. Let's go back to Bolt. That actually almost took us out. Very surprising. Okay, level 12. Must learn Bite. Yeah, I think we can probably give him something different. I'm gonna keep Poison Sting though. Well, you came all the way here. Let me give you something very special. Five rare candies. Oh, you don't know how important that is to me right now. Don't you feel happy when you have a whole bunch of different candies in your candy jar? Yes, actually, thank you. I'm going to check to see where we are with the... Dragonair. Okay, we're not gonna give it to it just yet. Alright, an escape rope. Definitely gonna need that later on. Huh! I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Sure, old man. It's a slowpoke! We definitely want that slowpoke. Come here, you goofy goober. Alright. Level 44? Yes, please. Level 44! Get in the ball! Do -do -do. This is a very heavy mug, and I'm trying not to spill it on myself. 
Hey, we got a great throw. And we did not get it. Good job. Still can't get him. What is going on here? Great throw. One, two, three. Yeah. Got ourselves that slow poke. Now, I think if we level him up by one, he'll evolve. Because I think it's like level 36 or 37 it evolves at. Okay. Slow poke. Incredibly slow and sluggish. It is quite content to lull about without worrying about the time. That's how I am first thing in the morning on a weekend. I don't get out of bed. Okay. Five great balls. Perfect. Let's push this. Okay. Let's go up and then go back over here for a minute. I'm going to drop down in this spot. So let's just take a look to see what's around here first. You don't want to have to come back in here later on. A super repel. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to go up. And that takes us back here. Okay. And it's a gold bag. Trying not to burn myself on the coffee. Dun, 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 dun. Max potion. Nice. down here. Okay, we do have to push this. That's good. And it's a Dugon. Hello, Dugon. Wait till it stops. There we go. I did not read its information. Uh, 
Let's go back here for a sec. Where is Dugan? Its entire body is a snowy white. Unharmed by even intense cold, it swims powerfully in icy waters. Now, I have a choice to make. Do I drop down? I must drop down. Nope. I did not drop one of the blocks. Okay, we have to figure out how to drop that block. Now, do I go up here? I think I do. Oh yeah, okay, I think I'm in the right spot. Can I swim here? Nope. I did not drop the blocks for that yet. Okay, current's too fast. That is a slow bro. We should probably try to catch that. Yeah. We're going to keep our old moves. We're not going to teach that to Ekans. We're going to keep our old moves as well for our Dragonair. What's it say there for Slowbro? Lives lazily by the sea. If the shelter on its tail comes off, it becomes a Slowpoke again. So that is the only Pokemon that can de-evolutionize. I didn't want to go up there. I don't think I have to drop down here, but... Okay, we're gonna run away from Golbat. I can drop down. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Shelter. Nice. Yes, I want this.
The shell can withstand any attack. However, when it is open, the tender body is exposed. Okay, this is exactly where we wanted to be because this is where we are going to find the legendary bird Articuno. So let's go ahead here and save while we can. All right, guys, so we are now in front of the legendary Pokemon Articuno. Ooh, I love this cutscene. It's so good. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think Articuno was one of the legendary birds that I had on my team originally, way back when. Let's go for that Thunderbolt here. We should be able to outspeed. Ooh, we do not outspeed. That Ice Beam's gonna be big damage. And we get the Paralysis. That is awesome. Okay, let's go for another Thunderbolt here. We gotta beat him into submission. And he's paralyzed! What is up with that? Okay, let's go for another Thunderbolt here. Nice. Alright, so we've just defeated the legendary bird Articuno. And now we have the ability to try to capture it. All right, so let's go into the bag. Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? I don't know where that came from. I apologize if it's from something stupid. Ugh. Let's go for the great ball. Kind of matches the colors. Hey, that did not work. Let's go for another silver. And we're going to switch to an Ultra Ball. We are not using that Master Ball. That is for another Pokemon that you guys will see later. Okay, come on. Get in the ball. Such a beautiful Pokemon. If I were to have to choose legendary Pokemon out of the trios, it would be Articuno, Raikou, and then it would be Regirock, and then Mesprit. Probably Verizian. And then my mind goes blank at this point because I can't think of any others. <laughs> Alright, come on, get in that Ultra Ball. Although Maltra is a really cool Pokemon. The only downside is with Maltra is, is that in the first, I don't know, seven generations, um, he's really hard to use in battle. Like, for moveset-wise, uh, in Gen 7, for Sun and Moon, I actually had a moveset for that that involved, like, a White Herb and Sky Attack. That was a really awesome, like, moveset. Come on! Get in the ball, please! Too high, too high. I yeeted that ball into the next area. Come on. Okay, we're gonna need to use some berries here. Bag. Raspberry. 
I don't know why this is going that way, but... Hey! We got a great throw. That's always good. Two. Three. Oh, come on. So close. Nice throw. Will you do? Come on, Articuno. Is my switch like off center again? Like I don't I don't get it. Such a hard Pokemon to catch. The capture rate of Articuno is extremely low, just like most legendary Pokemon. this be enough? Nope. Gotta get that excellent. That was so close to being excellent. Terrible. That was a terrible throw, Cory. What is going on with you? Close. Ooh, we got him on his baby toe.
man, he does not want to get in this ball. I don't blame him. It's a little tiny cramped space. It's probably not PETA approved. Come on, buddy, get in the ball. Finally! Alright, we just caught the legendary Pokemon Articuno. What's it say for Articuno now? A legendary bird Pokemon, it freezes water that is contained in winter air it makes it snow. Hmm. Well, we just caught ourselves an Articuno. Let's take a look to see what we've got for Articuno here. Adamant. That is the worst natured Articuno ever. <laughs> you either want to have timid or you want to have modest for him. Maybe calm. <laughs> Pikachu wants to play with Articuno. That's cute. Um... That was Magikarp over there, okay. Let's see. Now. We don't really require to be in here anymore, but we want to find Seal. We do need that for our Pokedex. But we're going to drop some boulders down here. There's one. And I can't go anywhere else. So let's just drop down here. There we go, we got the two. Now I think we're actually capable of getting out of here now. Let's take a look. Oh, I can't go down there. Okay. Let's go up. There's an item. Ooh, an ice stone. Of course, it doesn't really help us any here. Okay, come on. Gotta find a seal. I got another super lore. That's always good. It's good for those rare Pokemon that we need to find. That's a Jinx. Okay, we definitely don't need another Jinx, that's for sure. I think this takes us out of the cave. Okay, definitely... Oh yeah, totally does. Okay, let's go back in here. We're going to try to find Seal while we're here. There we go. <laughs> Once we get sealed, we can move on. There we go. Now hopefully I have your 
seal of approval on this Let's Play. <laughs> Hopefully you guys actually are enjoying it. I'm actually having a blast playing Let's Go Pikachu. Okay, Seal loves freezing cold conditions and relishes swimming in a frigid climate of around 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, let's take 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, Siri. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's phones are going off. Siri, what is 14 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? And of course... Siri's being a pain. Hey Siri, what is 14 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? That is minus 10. <laughs> Obviously I'm Canadian, right? <laughs> minus 10 degrees? What? That is still shorts weather. What is going on here with that? Oh man, that's funny. Minus 10. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to get comments about, Corey, that's cold. Yeah, I don't know. Grow yourself a face scarf, boys. <laughs> All right, let's talk to this trainer here. Are you on vacation too? Nope. I'm on a weekend, and tomorrow I'm back to work in an itty-bitty cube. Marowak. This is not a favorable matchup. Gonna go for that drill pack. Although there's probably not a whole lot that he can do other than thrash. Hmm. Okay, Zapdos has gone down. Our trusty Zapdos. That was a misclick. I tried to go down to Psychic. Okay, come on. Let's get that Psychic. Okay, level 19. And gloom. Oh no! Gloom's doom. Should be the title of the of the episode. Gloom's doom. Prepare yourself for the doom of gloom. Wiggly tough. There we go. Gotta see that in the decks. We definitely need to get some Moonstones. It would actually help us out quite a lot in our decks. We've got four Pokemon that can evolve by uh, Moonstones. But we don't have any Moonstones. We haven't found a single one. Which is kind of interesting. Now, Mewford, you are paralyzed. Level 53. No mercy at all. No mercy indeed. This is Pokemon. There's no mercy in a Pokemon battle. And a heart scale. Heart scales are used to relearn moves, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, let's find what is in our bag. I'm gonna put Ethan at the beginning of our team. And we're going to take out our Dragonair. I don't think there's anything on the water that we need. 
But there are going to be trainers that we're going to have to battle here along the way. I love floating here among the waves. I'm a fish Pokemon. Uh, nope. You need to go to the crazy ward because you're a swimmer. Off to the crazy ward with you. And take that person in the slowpoke costume with you. Okay, let's go for the pedal dance here. Ekans, level 20. He wants to learn Glare. Yes, we do want to forget another move because Glare is a wicked move to have onto an Arbok. I know I like using Glare, I like using Coil, Gunk Shot, and Sucker Punch. So Glare comes in quite handy. It paralyzes your opponent, essentially. Youch! What, did you step on a tentacle or something? down here. No trainer. That's going to be a bird catcher. Okay, three Ultra Balls. Yes, I will take those, please. Go into the bag. We're going to be up against some bird Pokemon. We might as well put Everett in first. I rode my bird Pokemon here. And you're not going to have them to go back. I hope you're very good at swimming, sir. Bird Keeper Roger? How did you get out of... How did you get out of the queue, Roger? I have a lot of friends at work. Just saying. Okay. Let's go for the flamethrower. Take this pharaoh out. Obviously, the coffee's working. I can't sit still. I apologize. I'm, like, over here, like... It's a lot of caffeine. There's like... <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's like four coffees in there. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. I swear. Dodrio. We're gonna stay in. Okay. Go for that flamethrower there. We're gonna forget about the fighter spin for now. Dodrio goes down. It's down. Level 21. It should evolve. It's level 21 and 22. I think it's 21. Uh, Pidgeot. Pidgeot. Nope. We are going to stay in here. And we are going to go in for the flamethrower. It should be enough to be able to knock him out, I think. Can your bird Pokemon do this? I don't know if it can, but mine can. Let's go, Everett. Yeah, get that Pidgeot out of here. Oh no, now what am I to do? Like I said, you're stuck on that island. My bird Pokemon are exhausted. They can't fly me back. <laughs> and, we, and we just leave them. Oh my, that's so mean. I would totally help them if I could. But... They won't accept revives. Okay. Coffee is having all sorts of different effects on me here now. Sometimes coffee has the caffeinated boost that I need. Other times it puts me to sleep. And then of course you also know that there's always the other benefit to coffee. Did you catch my drift? Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's not. Okay, Ethan, let's go. Let's get that pedal dance out here. 
Yeah, get this Starmie out of here. Good job. Level 22. It must be 22. We're gonna stay in here up against this Tentacruel. We are totally not switching for this. There we go. Ekans is evolving. That's always nice to have because that's going to be another Pokemon that we are going to catch in our Pokedex. That's going to raise this up a little bit. There we go. Now, one thing that I really wish that these games would do is implement the different designs on Arbuck. If you actually go in and you look at the actual um, mangas, Arbuck, based on the region, has different patterns that it displays on its body. So this would be considered like the Cantonian. Um, they really should bring out some other different variants. Like if you take a look there, that looks like a face, right? Okay, the frightening patterns on its belly have been studied. Six variations have been confirmed but yet we've never actually seen them in any game at all. This is something that uh, Pokemon has dropped the ball on for sure. Okay, Arbuck wants to learn Crunch. We are going to forget an old move and we're gonna take out Bite because why would we keep Bite and Crunch on the Pokemon at the same time? We only need one. Okay, but now we can actually swap him out for another Pokemon. So, let's take a look into the bag. What do we got in the bag here, or in the PC? Seal can actually go. He's going to evolve by stone, stone. Looks like it's going to be coughing, guys. We're going to add coughing to the party here. And of course, because it came from a trade, I can't nickname it. <laughs> so, we are going to carry him around with us there. When we get back to a point where we can get some stones, we're going to evolve a couple of Pokemon. Okay, we fought him. There's a trainer over there. No, I don't want to capture him. Run away, please. I swam here from Cinnabar Island. It wasn't easy, I tell you. Well, you don't look like a swimmer. I think you're a camper or a picnicker. Picnicker. I think they were, were they campers in the original one or were they always picnickers? I can't really remember. I'm old now, guys. I'm so old, I don't remember things. No, that's not true. Just there's so many different games and variants and renames that you just never know exactly what they're called anymore. But that's definitely how I am with the Pokemon as well. As soon as a new Pokemon comes out, I can't remember what what it is. I always tend to forget their names. Go. 
Okay, I'm so disappointed. I'm not, this is a great game. Why are you disappointed? Swimmer. Okay, there's what three like three trainers left? Okay. Max repel. My boyfriend gave me big pearls. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you need to tell me that you were given pearls. But I can see why there's a cloister here. That pedal dance was big. That's a big knockout. Really glad that it did not get the opportunity to attack. Okay, level 21 for coughing. Oh no, my pearls were in that Pokemon. Why were your pearls in the Pokemon? That's a terrible place to keep pearls. All right, let's fight this Ace Trainer. What's cool and happening? Trading Pokemon. Well, I'm not trading with you. I'll use my other switch. Marty! All right, Marty, what do you got here? You got yourself a Golem. I bet you're going to go for that explosion. Seems to be the ex experience that we've been having here lately is Golems tend to explode. There we go. There's the pedal dance. Okay. Pincer. Gonna stay in here. Realistically, I should have probably gone to Charizard. But we're gonna do a pedal dance here anyway. So I'm gonna see what ha what happens here. How much it actually does. It's about half HP there. Okay, Exazer. That actually does quite a bit of damage. Now, if we can only get a crit. Let's get this pincer out of here. Ooh. And we're confused now. Ethan survives. That's awesome. Okay, Ethan, let's go for the razor leaf. Snap out of that confusion. There we go. All right, Pinsir is now down and out. Coughing, level 22. I'm actually not sure what level that evolves at. I think it's like close to level 40. Might be 38, level 40. I think originally I thought 44. Could be wrong. Okay, let's get this trainer up here battled. And then we should be able to make it to Cinnabar Island. Cinnabar Island to the west has a lab for Pokemon. My daddy works there. We're gonna ignore the fact that this is a beauty, right? And she just said her daddy works there. Okay, we're just gonna ignore that, right? I'm gonna ignore it. But I just thought I'd point that out there. Because now you're never gonna be able to unsee that. Okay, here we go. Get that pedal dance going. Okay, one more Pokemon to go. Jinx. Nope, we're going to stay in. Jinx is a Psychic and Ice-type, so I'm actually at a very huge disadvantage here. 
but considering that I'm actually at a higher level, that disadvantage actually just disappears. Melissa. Okay, here we go, guys. We are now on Cinnabar Island. And we're going to go into the Pokemon Center here. All right, so that is going to be it for this episode here of Let's Go Pikachu. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, you guys know what to do. Hit that like button, let me know in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.